hi friends in this video i will talk about the important viva questions based on the carry foster bridge now we will briefly discuss the principle of the experiment carry foster bridge is used to measure small or medium resistances and it works on the principle as wheatstone bridge and wheatstone bridge is widely used to measure the electrical resistance of circuits and wheatstone bridges have these four resistances and one galvanometer and two resistances p and q these are the known resistances r is unknown resistance and one resistance s which is a variable resistance this arrow shows the variable resistance and it works on the principle of null deflection so in the balancing condition the galvanometer should show the zero reading or null point so in that condition p by q should be equal to r by s and then we can find out this unknown resistance r equal to p into s by q and where this s is the variable register of the uh, circuit so the aim so of this experiments are to determine the resistance per unit length of the carry posters bridge wire our first aim is this and then we have to find out the specific resistance of the given unknown wire and this is the experimental setup and uh, we have rho state galvanometer and we have two slots here to use the non resistance and also to unknown wire can be used in these slots for the calculations and we will use the different formula to calculate the specific resistance so first one is to measure the resistance per unit length for the bridge wire so our first aim is this for this bridge wire we have to calculate the resistance per unit length and for that initially we have will have to balance this bridge by putting the uh, this rho state uh, p and q are equal and then uh, putting the copper strip or copper wires in these two gaps then the circuit is complete and using this jockey in middle of this bridge wire this is almost a balanced bridge we can see in the galvanometer the null deflection or zero deflection so Uh, and uh, rho can be found out by x divided by l2 minus n1 means if we put the unknown resistance in left side and then see the balancing condition so from the left we will note down this l1 and when we put this unknown resistance in right gap from the box then again we measure the balancing condition that is l2 so rho will be x divided by l2 minus l1 so this will give us the resistance per unit length for the bridge wire now we will use this rho for the calculation of the unknown wire specific resistance of the unknown wire and first we will measure the resistance of that unknown wire and this can be uh, used by this formula r equal to x minus rho of bridge wire into l2 minus l1 and again we have to uh, use the box one side we can use the box and another side we can use the unknown wire and if uh, this resistance non resistance or uh, x is on left side then we will note down the balancing condition from the left it is l1 and again wire is on left side and then well this x if we interchange uh, these two sides then we will see uh, again measure the balancing condition that is l2 and finally we can get r because we already know the non resistance rho we have calculated l2 and l1 we have measured from the conditions and then uh, if we know the r now we can find out rho equal to r into a by l where that is the specific resistance or resistivity of the unknown wire rho equal to r into a by l and the unit is ohm centimeter 
where A is the cross sectional area of the unknown wire that is pi r square and L is the length and this r radius can be we can uh, measure for the unknown wire by the screw gauge or the micrometer. So this is how we can find out uh, the specific resistance for the unknown wire. Now we will discuss some important fiber questions. So first question is what is specific resistance? So if we see this formula rho equal to r into a by l then we can have a definition like this a specific resistance of a material is the resistance of one centimeter length of a wire whose cross sectional area is one square centimeter and the unit is ohm centimeter or ohm meter. Next question is what is the effect of temperature on the resistance of conductors? So in case of the conductors, the resistance increases with increase in the temperature. And in semiconductor, how resistance changes with temperature? So in case of the semiconductors, the resistance decreases with increase in the temperature. Next question is, if the radius of the wire is doubled, then will the specific resistance change or not? Specific resistance is independent of length, length or radius of wire. So it only depends on the material of the wire. So it will, there will be no change in the specific resistance. If the wire is doubled or even if the diameter is doubled, there will be no effect. On which factors the specific resistance of a material depend? So specific resistance or resistivity of a material depend on the type of material and on the temperature. What is the principle of Carey Foster Bridge? Carey Foster Bridge is based on the principle of Wheatstone Bridge. And what is principle of Wheatstone Bridge? As we have discussed it in our first slide, when we have four resistances P, Q, R, S in the four arms of the Wheatstone Bridge, this kind of bridge is known as Wheatstone Bridge. Uh, galvanometer is in this branch. Um, so uh, then in that case, uh, case of no deflection in the galvanometer, we should have the bridge should be balanced condition. P by Q should be equivalent to R by S. And why this Wheatstone Bridge is known as a bridge? So the galvan galvanometer arm, this BD, uh, this works as a bridge for the circuit and is uh, this BD is joining uh, A, B, D and B, C, D. These arms or these paths are joined by this arm BD or the galvanometer. Why Wheatstone bridge is not suitable for measurement of, of very low and very high resistances? So this is due to the errors in the measurements because for the low resistances uh, we cannot use very low resistance because then wire resistance and least resistance will affect the measurement and then it will make the errors. Similarly, in the case of high resistances, the bridge is balanced by nullifying the deflection of galvanometer. As we know that in Wheatstone bridge, the bridge should be balanced using uh, the deflection of the galvanometer. And if we use very high resistance, the current in the circuit will be very low. And that's why the current is nearly zero and galvanometer is not so sensitive at low current. So bridge will be imbalanced and again, there will be errors. Now, what, next question is, what is difference between the carry Foster bridge and meter bridge? So carry Foster bridge, uh, it have no end resistances where in case of the meter bridge there are some end resistances and which affects the reading or can make some error. So that's why carry Foster bridge is more accurate than meter bridge and in carry Foster bridge we can measure low resistances and even little bit higher resistances as compared to meter bridge. Why is the copper strip fitted in the carry Foster bridge? So to make the circuit complete, we, we use the copper strips because they have the very 
small resistance or they have negligible resistance when is carry foster bridge is most sensitive so carry foster bridge is most sensitive when p q r and s four resistances are same or of the same order then this is very sensitive uh, bridge why the resistance for inner ratios arm to be equal so for uh, better sensitivity and accuracy the resistance for inner ratio uh, arm should be equal what is the minimum difference in resistances that can be measured by carry foster bridge so the resistance of 1 mm length of the bridge wire so if we see the scale then 1 mm length is the minimum so the resistance of 1 mm length of the bridge wire is um, the minimum difference in the resistance so where are the p q r and s the four resistances in the given carry foster bridge apparatus so we know that in wheatstone bridge we have these four resistances p q r and s and the for balancing p by q should be equal to r by s so here in this carry foster bridge we have a rheostat and the knob is put in between of the rheostat then we have two resistances are there and they will be p and this other part is q and then uh, using the balancing condition this jockey is in middle of the bridge wire so uh, this distance is that is uh, have some resistance that is r and the right hand side and this uh, will have some resistance which is s so now for the balancing condition if we want to get this deflection zero so p by q should be equal to r by s so these p q r and s in this bridge they are comparable to the wheatstone bridge so next question is what is the function of carry foster bridge carry foster bridge is a modified version of the meter bridge and it can be used to find out the average resistance per unit length or the specific resistance of the meter bridge wire and after that we can find out the unknown resistance and it is more accurate and sensitive than meter bridge so next question what is the working principle of carry foster bridge so we have seen that the position of the null point changes when the resistance is connected in the outer gaps if they are interchanged and the difference in the values of resistances x minus y is equal to the resistances of the differences of the bridge wire l2 minus l1 means these are the lengths uh, in the balancing condition for the bridge wire next question is can a copper wire can be used as a bridge wire and which material wire is used in making of the bridge wire so copper wire cannot be used as a bridge wire because it have very low specific resistance and it has high temperature coefficient high temperature coefficient means if we change a little bit of temperature its resistance changes and usually a manganese wire is used in uh the bridge or as a bridge wire manganese is alloy of copper manganese and nickel and how this bridge is better than ordinary wheatstone bridge because the sensitivity and accuracy of meter bridge or carry foster bridge is directly proportional to the length of the bridge wire and in this carry foster bridge we have we are adding two resistances extra in the boxes and which increases the bridge wire virtually and that's why it it is more accurate and also we can measure a little bit lower resistance as compared to the uh, uh, meter bridge in case of the carry foster bridge what are the applications of carry foster bridge it is used in electronics to measure the medium resistances it is used to compare the values of equal resistances in light detector circuits it is used to measure the value of light dependent resistors and in different sensors which are used to measure the intensity of light or to measure the pressure 
or some strain by measuring the changes in the resistance thanks for watching this video and please subscribe like and share and if you have any questions or suggestions then please write in the comment box and we have discussed the bible questions on bicoarse polarimeter in our last video and in our next video we will discuss the bible questions based on the hamhurst galvanometer so thanks again